We saw on Dynamite where uh, John Moxley bulldozed CM Punk to unify those titles. And we know that, at least we believe that we know, that the main event is going to be a rematch. What did you think about that whole angle? What did you think about the match? What do you think they're going to do to create hype and interest for this rematch? Uh, you broke up uh, to me. I couldn't hear half of what you said. Oh, sorry. Just what, what were your Wh thoughts on what they match? did on, uh, uh, for, for Moxley and Punk and then what they oh. may possibly do for the, uh, the making this next match for the main event of All Out? So I, uh, I got to tell you, when I first watched it, I was like, what the hell happened here? Like, I didn't think they would go three minutes. I, I really didn't. I, and I also had not asked about it, you know. Yeah. Um, they went three minutes. I was like, I, I did not like it at all. I, at initially, right? When I first saw it, I, it, it kind of annoyed me. I felt that they pulled me into this match and then they pulled me out, which I think that was maybe kind of part of what they wanted here to kind of get you get the interest level up. However, I rewatched the entire show the following day because I, you know, from Wednesday to I'm sorry, on Friday morning, I rewatch it because from Wednesday to Friday, because we recorded on Friday, a lot of time passed. So mm -hmm. I wanted to be fresh when I did the show. I actually liked it a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, think, you know, sometimes the, the initial reaction you have is so impulsive. Uh, it, it's, it's, you know, I, I, I stood back and I looked at it, watched it again and I and I enjoyed it a lot more. Um, now the big question is, what do you do to make whatever happens? on Sunday, something very special. Cause you, you don't have, they don't have the opportunity of having an okay match. They don't yeah. have that opportunity. They can't just have like a, you know, it was an okay. It was a good main event. You can't, you, that will not work in this scenario here. I think the expectations are very high. Uh, I think the pressure to do something captivating is, is very high. You also have that MJF thing looming. You also have who could possibly debut looming. Uh, there's a lot of what ifs, and when you have those what ifs, the fans will fill in those blanks, and that doesn't necessarily end well for you, even if you have a great show. So you have to do something that works and people want to see. Uh, do I think there's more intrigue in this match? I think there is now. Uh, from from just talking to people, you know, I'm not gauging it based on you know instant Twitter reaction, but I do think there are more people that are interested in the main event, not necessarily the show. I think the interest for the show has been the same, but. This is a main event. You're going to see it twice. Do you do something very unique? Um, I think they have to. Uh, what do you? How do you see it playing out? You know, we we got this <laughs> abridged, speed up version where Moxley decimate. I mean, decimated Punk with a yeah. good reason, right? His foot went out. So, how do you tell the story now? That has been my question because if Moxley bulldozed him. During this match, like we, I, I think the way that we are supposed to understand how injuries work, his foot should be worse off for this rematch, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I but I do think uh, the booking was interesting in that he didn't lose to a submission on the foot; he lost to the uh, the finisher, John's finisher. So they can do so many things in submissions with the foot because he never tapped out for for foot injury but i don't know man i i think my logic brain is gonna have a big problem no matter what when this match happens because yeah. they did the short I, match they did the short match to the show your reaction yeah. to the show is, is is surprising to me really yeah it, it is and not, not i'm not saying like in a bad way right like I, i'm i'm very surprised because i i i i gauge a lot of uh, a lot of how people see things through through mm -hmm. how you see it because you have a very good disposition on pro wrestling. You don't have this volatile reactionary uh, approach when it comes to things that you like and you don't like. But every week that we've spoken about the show, you've kind of slumped a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and, know, I I've it, ha I've had you, I had this problem. Do you think the backstage stuff did this to you or no? No, 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 no. That stuff, you know. Probably not that bad, but that stuff just happens. Like that's just business stuff, right? That that's just then now the fact that Punk decided to air it on TV as a receipt, that that's intriguing. Uh, but that that's not really my frustration. My frustration has been with the booking because I okay. So I'll explain this in in sort of my where where my frustration really started uh, after Dynamite, or not even after Dynamite, after that match. I was like, okay, they have an hour left or a little bit less than an hour left 
they better update us on what's going on with Punk because we still don't have a main event. And CM Punk mm -hmm. is their world champion who just got steamrolled by the interim champion. That should be a giant story. JR and Excalibur should have been bringing that up every five minutes. Like, what, what's going on? Like, what's going to be the main event? CM Punk, who's, uh, you know, he, he's been such a boon to this company. And John Moxley has been, you know, since uh, Double or Nothing, he was there. The, he 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 was the surprise, and he's a day one guy. Like, there's a there's a story here. If this was real sports, uh, I use the the Steph Curry analogy in Wrestling Observer uh, Radio. If Steph Curry is in the NBA Finals and he turns his ankle and he has to miss the rest of the game, they're probably updating you on Steph Curry every uh, before every commercial or coming out of every commercial because it's the biggest thing other than the game. They didn't do any of that. So that frustrated me. Yeah. They sh what, what should have happened. And, and look, I, I can, I'm going to give Tony Khan the benefit of the doubt because he's been doing good, good work. Right. So I, I, I'm going into this thinking he's got some excuses or he's got some reasons and he's still going to deliver something that that's good. And he's got the, you know, he's got Moxie and punk for, for feedback and a sounding board and they'll have ideas. I'm going to guess that this is probably going to be good, but to my sort of sports mentality, to my understanding of uh, logic in, in pro wrestling, they needed to do some sort of cliffhanger at the end of that show and go, we don't have a ton of information right now, but we're going to have more information on Friday. You will hear from Punk. You will hear from Moxley you know we'll see how how both guys are and 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 they need to to promote that for for rampage they showed a 2 minute video of punk limping to the back which yeah. was great the way that they shot it was yeah. great but there was no information that came from it so well, i am supposed you know. to believe that tony khan who said sports presentation was such an important aspect of his pro wrestling company i'm supposed to believe that nothing is happening and that they can say nothing about this injury. They can say nothing about whether what, what's our main event. So as a fan, as a ticket buying fan, because I bought my ticket, I booked my hotel, I booked my terribly overpriced flight. I was kind of like, I don't know. Like if, if I didn't, yeah. you know, if I lived in that area and I hadn't bought a ticket yet with this angle or with this, make me want to buy a ticket i'm not sure hey 